Here's a name we haven't heard from in a while. Automobili Turismo eSport is throwing its name back as an entrant in the war of the supercars with its new GT Coupe that serves as a successor to an ever-produced Gran Turismo car from the 1960s. True to its rarefied segment just 12 models will be produced starting at about $1.33 million each highly customized to the purchaser's tastes. The coupe is a successor to the 2500 GT which was revealed at the 1963 Paris Motor Show but never went into production before the entire company shut down in 1964. ATS was launched by Carlo Chetti and Giotto Bizzarini after leaving Ferrari in 1961 due to a dispute with Enzo Ferrari. The initial aim was to beat Ferrari and the company managed to produce a Formula One racer in the mid-engine 2500 GT. Despite teasing several models in recent years the GT will be the company's first new production supercar in nearly half a century. Today's version of the company is being run by ADS's design chief Emanuele Bomboy and Danielle Marin the former race car driver turned importer and distributor of fast sports cars. The company insists this rebirth is not a nostalgia operation and says it has other ideas it plans to develop beyond the GT. Bombi formerly worked for Fiat in Bertoni and it shows in the GT's styling. The side silhouette of this new Gran Turismo is charged with energy with clean lines framing arched surfaces the company says. The outlines above the wheel are evocative while a clean flowing line divides the car's upper and lower halves. As with the original car's design the windows provide a focus for the flanks of the car. The new car also borrows its predecessor's front spoiler which runs the whole width of the car with the same blue Dragon of Bologna logo with two stripes running along the bonnet. It gets a carbon fiber body and chassis for a curve weight of 2,866 pounds. Powering the GT is a 3.8-liter twin-turbo V8 mounted behind the cabin that does 650 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. Or buyers can upgrade to a 700 horsepower version with 553 pounds to foot of torque. Either is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission that drives the rear wheels. 0 to 60 time is around 3 seconds and top speed is around 206 miles per hour. Three driving modes are offered, Viaggio Sport and Casa, with each configuration changing the colors of the cockpit controls from blue to yellow and red respectively. Does that sound a lot like the McLaren 650S to you? It does to us. That's likely what this car is based on although we don't have any info at the moment about ADS relationship with McLaren if there is one. We'll know more hopefully when it's closer to launch.